So it's Father's Day today, and as this year's Father's Day gift, my wife and my son scheduled me an appointment over at the Fort Worth Float Company. Now, I've never done this before, but I've watched some stuff on it. I have uh, I know some family members that have done this sort of thing before. Basically, you go and float in a large tub of high concentration salt water. Uh, think like the Dead Sea, basically, where there's enough salt in there where you basically float like buoyant on top of the water. But it's a deprivation tank sort of thing. So, all, no lights, no sound, you wear earplugs, and you just float in darkness for a little while. It's supposed to be a pretty relaxing, surreal environment. So I thought, you know what? That might be fun to bring you guys along with me, kind of see what it's like, and kind of give my thoughts on it and see if I have any trippy uh, hallucinations or whatever. So <laughs> I guess uh, we'll just head inside here in a minute. All right, so I'm inside the room. This is what the tank looks like. Pretty big area. It's dark in here for relaxing purposes. Okay, shower is complete. Not sharing that part with you guys. Now I can't take you into the tank with me because, well, it's total darkness and I'm naked. So we'll just talk to you guys afterwards and tell you what it was like. Two hours later. All right, I just finished my first ever float experience, and I have to say that was very, uh, very trippy, very interesting feeling. Uh, the water's like room temperature bath water, basically, and so it's not cold, not too hot. You get in, and it's weird because it's only about shin deep. It's not really deep water. Um, after you start floating in there, you're only about three inches off the bottom of it. Total darkness, no sound. You got earplugs in, so you can't hear anything other than just the thoughts in your own head. It's like a full sensory deprivation, and. After a few minutes, once your body gets acclimated and you've, you know, balanced temperature with you in the water and stuff, you don't feel like you're in water anymore at all. It, it's a, it's a weird sensation. You kind of feel like you're just floating through a void. And I mean, you're literally floating. So of course that kind of makes sense there. But I thought I was honestly going to just like pass out and take an hour and a half long nap because I can fall asleep anywhere pretty much. But I didn't. In fact, I was wide awake and just pondering the questions of the universe and the solving life's problems and of course the answer is 42 but I really did actually have a good time it was it's something else is that time passes weirdly when you have no sensory basically of what's going on um, I did a 90 minute float and I really feel like I was in there for hours it, it would just like okay surely my time's gonna be up here pretty soon uh, it's got to be getting close to that right and then it just kept going and going and going which I'm not complaining I'd rather it be that way than the other way you know usually you get a massage and it's like it's already been an hour oh, okay so this is pretty cool. Um, I do recommend the company. This isn't a sponsored video. They don't even know I'm doing this video. But uh, if you're in the Fort Worth area, it's Fort Worth Float Company. Um, I had a really good time. Um, if you had any kinds of experience doing this on your own, if you've ever done it before, leave in the comments down below what your experience was like. I'd be interested to see. I've heard that some people hallucinate. Do, you know, you cut off some senses. Your other ones are heightened. Some people start seeing things or hearing things. I didn't hear or experience anything, anything trippy. I pretty much just stared into the void and floated with my own thoughts for a while, and it was pretty chill. But anyway, I'd like to hear if you had any experiences with that. So I guess we'll just see you in the next one. 